Hi, welcome back to Kolska Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the FXT Viper goggles. These are the V2 version. Uh, they had minor changes from the V1. So these are the V2s. I've just got these. So a couple of weeks ago, you probably watched a video where I reviewed my Amways. Now that video was filmed, to be honest with you, quite a long time ago, but I never put the video up. And although I love the Amways, I'm now having a problem with seeing clearly through them and that's because I need reading glasses so unfortunately as much as they do like the Amways they're gonna have to go so I decided to buy some some of these now I've tried other box goggles before with the issue EV 800 and stuff like that and I've never got on with any of them I've tried the head plays I've never got on with any of them so I've bought these after watching some reviews so let me just show you through them and show you what you get so they come in this nice little case it's actually a big case. And in here you get the goggles. A cleaning cloth. This is a goggle frame if you like the cleaning cloth. The monitor which goes in the front. And then here you get a nice little bag that velcros on. And in here you get some accessory cables. In here I keep my antennas because I don't use the stock ones that I've got the Amway, then I've got the Amway patch antenna in here. So, the box is actually, as you can see, it's quite a sturdy box. I like the way it fits in. You have, the only way it only just fits is the battery being into it, but I'll show you that in a minute. So, this is the goggles. So this is the box, if you like. So this works by clicking, clipping the monitor, which is this monitor, clips in here, you lock it in there, and then this cable plugs into the bottom and how it works is because you're not actually looking at the monitor and you can see there's a mirror there see the mirror in the top another mirror and then at the bottom inside you have a mirror so it's like a periscope effect so what you're doing is you're looking at it through the mirrors and what that allows you to do is get the screen further away from your eyes because it's always been the problem with box goggles is they make you go a bit cross-eyed or I can never get the focal distance right because you can't actually adjust them on box goggles. So, always going to be a problem for me. That's why I went for these. So as you can see, they're quite nicely finished off. You get a cable that plugs into the monitor which is a micro USB. You run the cable into the little clips at the bottom. It then goes into... A little adapter here so if you've got a fat shark goggles you could just put your battery straight in here I haven't got one of them so I'm just using this and this is just a 1300 3S battery you can use a wide variety of batteries to run these so you're probably going to have a battery that's going to fit it you just need an XT60 on the end or you can convert this or as I say you can buy some fat shark ones so that's the unit itself now the other thing this does is I'm going to do this now so on here as you can see your face fits here and the idea is you can wear glasses which is why I need this so I can wear my reading glasses in here absolutely comfortably this is all a very soft rubber you get a very slight bit of light leakage around your nose but trust me you do not notice that and I'm going to show you why in a minute and how I definitely know you don't and then they fit in there but because of the fact if you don't want to do that you can actually pull this piece off so this piece just clips in here and comes off and you can actually wear them and have it working just like this you've got no face piece so you can just view it on here and that allows you to look all around so you can see past it you can see your craft in the sky and you can it's a, probably a safer way of flying now I did not think I'd be able to see this in a bright day but you actually can you don't need this on because it's quite close to you and the way it's working through the reflectors through the mirrors you can actually see this on a bright day. You do not leave this piece on. I can fly on a bright day just like this. So let me just show you the monitor. Let's plug it in obviously. I'm just going to unclip this from here so I can show you the monitor and how it works. And run through the features. It's just easier showing it this way rather than trying to show you through a pair of goggles. So there's the monitor. On the back you've got a five direction joystick. Push in and forward the directions. And then on here side you've got an SD card, you've got AV in and out, 
and on the top you've got a single button press record which I love I love the fact that you don't have to go to the menu you just flick this and you can do that easily when it's in the covers I'll put them in a minute and show you long press the button in I hope you can see just how bright that screen is it's crazy bright it's a very very nice screen so if you click on the back and you press down it'll do an auto search I'll just come out of that so it's probably going to want to do an auto search so let's just show you the auto search we can just take it up to a drone a quad drone quad very confusing these days so let's just bring it back into auto search and let it find that It's just going to go through the bands, and there you go. I hope you can see how good the quality is on that. I hope it's showing it up to how good it is. It really is that bright. The screen is fantastic. All right, you don't have the immersive effect that you get flying with my Amways, and I'll be totally honest, but the picture is much better than on the Amways. In my opinion, the DVR is better than on the Amways, but you don't get the same immersive feel. But it really is so I think I can fly better with these than I could with my Amways and I don't know why that is I don't know if it's because this screen's bigger and I'm seeing a bigger view because obviously it's quite a big view you're going to see in the goggles but I just feel I can fly better the colour definition is fantastic if you look let's get them to close up colours look good it really is excellent now you've got a menu on here obviously so if you press it in you're going to go into menu so you can adjust your ratio I fly 16 by 9 so obviously you can change that you can change your display on and off so if I click that on sorry about that so if I click on to display oh, you've got to go left and right that's right I remember now so if you go left and right you can turn it on and off now what that's going to do is overlay my band on the top here of what I'm flying on I can then change my backlight to low medium and high my brightness and contrast saturation in other words the colour volume yes it does have sound and language and reset but if i just come out of this so if i come out of here you can see now i've turned it on at the top so that is my channels i'm running on if i long press to the left these are my bands so it actually shows you all the channels on the side here you can just select which channel you want which I think is a fantastic feature so I can just go in and select which one I want so if I want to fly on band 4 I can click on that and then go up here and it adjusts it really is fantastic if I long press a long pull to the right I don't think that does anything actually up and down auto search and then if I want to I can just simply I think it's a short press is left and right and then I can change my channels this way so if you look if you go left I can manually change my channels if I want to see if I can get a better picture than the auto assert the auto assert seems to work well for me I've tried it on three or four different drones and it seems to work well actually we we'll just try it on another one when we're here let's just unplug this one so it doesn't get too confused with itself so let's plug it into the ET125 the battery is not flat and let's see how good the auto search does on this so long press down go into auto search and there you go battery's going flat hence why I got a bit of flicker the battery is really low I think on this oh no it actually isn't I don't yeah it's just get yeah, a bit of flicker on this camera so the camera on this is amazing and the camera on this is the run cam mini and as you can see let's see if we can actually get a better channel and that appears to be the best one so as you can see when it's, it's quite quick at auto searching you do get a bit of flicker through that one but I think that's mainly to do with this camera because it's the first one I've seen it on 
It seems to be just the OSD actually that's flickering a little bit. Yes, it's the OSD that's flickering. Um, but as you can see, rear the sharp, and I love the big wide screen. So we've gone through that. Let me just turn this off. Let me show it in the goggles. So you simply pop it in like this. Just connect it back up to the. So you just plug this into the bottom of your goggles here. Okay, long press at the back to switch it on. Okay, and I hopefully, if I can line this up with the camera, you should see what, yeah, you can see. It's not, does it, I don't know if it's going to come out that well, because I can't get the angle quite 100%. But you can see what I can see. So, this is quite a bright room, and I can see that absolutely clear as day. I hope it's come up in the camera. So that's how, that's how they work. So like I said before, it's not as immersive as Fat Sharks, um, or Ramways, or any of them type of goggles. It's never going to be, because it's the way it works. But if you need glasses, if you need reading glasses, and you can't focus on the screen, these are, the, these are gonna be a godsend. Because these are ridiculously comfortable. They weigh about 600 grams, but because of this padded headspace here, and it really is a thick padded headspace, you don't feel like nothing's pressing in, you feel no plastic, which you tend to do on box goggles, pressing into your head. Really does work well. The only thing I'd recommend that they should have done better is probably put some better antennas in, because these die up, they're not bad. They're fine when I'm flying around my house, but I certainly, when you get some distance, they're not very good. So I've got the Amways on here. That's another 10, 15 quid. So I bought these from Banggood. I'll leave a link down below. If you're interested in them, I think they're fantastic and they're a bit of a godsend for me because I was get bit, getting a bit worried what I was going to do. I love the fact you can take this off if you don't want to be as immersive and it isn't quite as immersive but I can fly really nicely with them and the beauty is of course I can see all around my surroundings because I can see all out the side. If I lift my head up I can see underneath them. So yeah, really is fantastic. They also come with a cleaning cloth and this little manual. So, yeah, it's another highly recommended for me. I'd watched other videos on this. So, thanks to the people that put the videos up because they helped me make an informed decision to buy these. But I'm certainly not disappointed. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.